My name is Alexandra Valentine and my PhD project Outside the Box is investigating the evolution and adaptation of free-living Apis mellifera mellifera across the island of Ireland, with particular focus on their distribution, their population structure and the impact of habitat on colony characteristics and fitness in comparison to the managed beekeeping cohort. In terms of the work that has been carried out so far, we have sampled over 130 colonies across Ireland. These were collected using a BVAC, chilled to induce a comatose state and then frozen before processing. We have chosen to conduct our sampling in this way to ensure that our practice is as humane and stress-free as possible. These samples are then photographed and the wings are removed for geometric morphometric assessments using the deep wing software. We are also using a genomic approach including SNP analysis and pool sequencing to study adaptation using museum specimens as a reference. To gather our samples, we are partnered with the National Biodiversity Data Centre, where beekeepers or members of the public can report any free-living colonies they come across. Of the samples collected this year, 52 have been free-living and 80 have come from managed beehives. At present, 56 of these have been processed using a pool sequencing approach, and we are currently undergoing the thoracic and abdominal muscle dissections and DNA extractions, to process the remaining 76 samples for whole genome sequencing using the Illumina PE150 platform with a 50x coverage provided by Novagene. 28% of this year's free living samples have come from tree cavities, 38% from roof or wall cavities and 18% from a variety of other environments, including this one colony pictured in the bottom left which was living entirely at the base of a bait box. The survival of this year's cohort ranged massively, from colonies believed to have been in situ for around 50 years, compared to those established by this year's swarms. 87% of colonies sampled have been established in the last five years, with 18% being established in 2022 alone. As you can see from the graph on the bottom right, the longest surviving free-living colonies are inhabiting roof and wall cavity spaces. We are also currently adopting the use of infrared thermography to explore the utilisation of different habitat types by honeybee colonies. We are also conducting disease analysis on over 50 colonies. These include newly established as well as minimally managed and fully managed colonies. These samples have been stored at minus 80 to maintain the integrity of any RNA viruses which may be present. Using this data, we hope to investigate if disease prevalence is similar in wild versus managed honeybees and if this influences fitness differences between the three subgroups. This project will only answer a small segment of questions we have about free living bees, but is vital to informing the management of AMM across Ireland and encouraging beekeepers to think outside the box.